the fable of the old young man and the jester. As the crowd of the circus main tent stage still cheers his act, the joker walks back heading towards his camerino. He has a white plaster face, a giant painted mouth, wearing a perpetual smile, a tiny perfectly round nose, both painted in red. He wears a tall fluffy multicolored hat covering his crown of shoulder length bright orange strands of hair. His loose clothes on one side resemble those of a harlequin with polka dots of white embedded on the other. His humongous shoes are like two flapping tongues, impossibly wide at the front, unbelievably narrow at the back. His nonchalant antics are often shockingly outrageous. Everyone and everything has suffered to his guests. All of his actions seem like a parody of reality, a mimic's journey into the lighter side of life. Yet, in our existence, not all is as it appears to be. Or is it? The diminutive voice interrupts his stride. Jester, jester, pleads the young juvenile in the alley along the Camerino. The clown turns and stares with his penetrating green eyes at the young teenager. Isn't this a bit too far of the beaten path for a young man like you to be wandering around? The impatient clown asks. My parents are just behind the curtains with my little brother feeding the giraffes. They know I'm here, the young man replies with confidence. Fair enough, says the clown in resignation. Pensively, the youngster crosses both arms while raising one hand to his chin. Joker, do you make people laugh for a living? Looking stern, the young man asks. Isn't causing laughter what clowns do? The clown replies in the form of a riddle. Unfaced, the young man quizzes him further. You make people happy, Jester. Are you a happiness maker? The clown relaxes as he leans on his camera in his door. After all, isn't that what those that visit the circus seek? The clown replies yet with another question, while still giving close to nothing. Now, if you'll excuse me, the clown says as he steps into his dressing room. Joker, Joker, the young man pleads before the door closes. The startled clown pauses, the young man presses forward. I don't find you very funny in person, sir. Your face wears a painted smile, but up close it doesn't feel genuine. Your eyes exude sadness, specifically annoyance or anger, perhaps directed at me, the young man blurts out on impulse. The clown's first reaction is to pull away, but to his great surprise he hesitates and reverses himself. You're a very good observer, little man. Come over and have a seat, the jester offers unexpectedly. Instinctively, the clown leaves the door wide open. Once seated, he offers the young man a box full of chocolates, letting him select whichever he wants. Joker, you make others happy, but not yourself. Why? the young man asks. Isn't it, by the way, how many leave, just keeping appearances in public? but guarding their darker inner realities close to their vests, replies the joker once more with another question. Jester, when I looked at you from afar while doing what you love and do best, making others laugh, being lauded by everyone, for an instant your life seemed like a fairy tale. But now being next to you, I ponder and puzzle. How is it that you are not happy? The opinionated young man asks. Inquisitive youngster, isn't it true that in life there is always something missing that we covet the most, but we don't have it or is unreachable, the jest of reasons? Or is it that we are always on the way, chasing gold, and when we finally reach them, we find that the goalpost has already moved, most of the times by us, and a new pursuit has replaced it at all, states the jester, full of sarcasm. Joker, but what you have at the present is fulfilling enough, isn't it? 
the pursuit of your goal, what is often called the chase, is loaded with mementos and all of those that love your act. You have to celebrate the journeys of life as it happens, the youngster wisely declared. Once more, the clown counsels back in contempt. There are no fairy tales in life, kid. Those only reside in children's books and in the world of fantasy. Yes, sir. my life is a fairy tale, the young man states in joy. I'm sure it is, the joker responds. You're surely born in a privileged home, enjoying all the trappings of wealth and success. Happily married parents, no hardship, no tragedy, no pain. Of course you see life as a fairy tale. Be ready though, the moment will come. You won't see it that way anymore. When it dissipates like a mirage, emphasizes the clown with poignant criticism. Joker, I'm an orphan. Those are my adopted parents. Until recently, we were homeless. My father just got a job as a janitor. My youngest brother walks in crutches because he contracted polio when he was five, declares the young man, his words filled with deep emotions. In shock and shame, the clown covers his mouth. And so, so he starts to apologize, only to be interrupted by the youngster. Yes, sir, you are a privileged man. Take stock of all you have going for yourself. Realize your source of happiness in and around you, as a smiling youngster. Tap your daily access to joy and laughter for what they are, celebrations of life. Your fairy tale resides in you. You do what you love. People love what you do. Is there more to be asked from life? Fact is that if you wish to, you could make out of any circumstance, place and people around you participants in your life fairy tales. The young man asks with profound words. I understand now the source of your destiny. Your words reflect experience way beyond your years. Similarly thinking aloud, the clown declares. And what would that be, sir? The young man quizzes. The challenges of hardship are what made you who you are, the jest of replies. Life is a fairy tale that resides inside all of us. It is there to be tapped, regardless of place or circumstances. It only requires ingenuity and candor of the soul and a true desire of the spirit to participate throughout in the journey of life. Are the youngsters parting word. His parents and brother approach to the corridor. Time to go, they announce. The young man walks out with a big broad smile. Joker, it was very kind of you to spend time with me. It was truly a magical moment, he declares, his face radiating with joy. Young man, it was magical for me as well. It was like a, he says spontaneously while stopping short filled with emotion. A fairy tale? The young man asks, smiling even more. Most definitely, as well as a life lesson well learned, says the clown, with sparkling eyes that finally show for once his face-painted smile, real and genuine, and perhaps everlasting. And this concludes our read of the fable of the old young man and the jester. Thank you. Thank you.